Welcome to the first in a series of videos designed to provide additional information on some basic surgical topics. This first video will talk you through the instruments provided on what is often named a basic set. By the end of this video, we hope that you will be able to identify each of these instruments and have a general idea regarding their applications. Tile clips are an important instrument. They come in various shapes and sizes and their primary application is to secure drapes and instruments to maintain a clean and sterile field. They can primarily be blunt or sharp. And we demonstrate an example of two. The sponge holder is designed to hold the sponge at length and has uses in sterilization of the patient, but also in trabdominy. As you can see, it is ratcheted for a strong grip of the sponge. The blade handle, when combined with the blade, produces what is commonly referred to as the scalpel. It is used for sharp dissection. In a later video, we will show you how to load and unload the blade handle. Regarding forceps, there are multiple different types. They are primarily named due to their length, size, and whether they are toothed or non-toothed. We present here the bakies, which are non-toothed, for use intra-abdominally as they are kind to tissue. Here for comparison are the much larger non-toothed Ramsey's forceps. These are primarily for handling inorganic materials. And here are the brother forceps, the toothed Ramsey forceps. These are heavy duty and are primarily for handling durable tissue such as the rectus sheath or abdominal sheath and tendons. By stark contrast we present to you a much more delicate set of forceps, the Gillies tooth forceps. Their primary application is in the closure of the skin whereby you can gain good grip with the tooth. Here we see the Babcock forceps. These are a ratcheted, atraumatic, curved bladed forcep, primarily used to hold visceral objects such as the appendix or gallbladder. Littlewoods are traumatic grasping forceps with a tough tip and curved limb. It allows precision holding sparing of the superficial tissues. It's typically used during the insertion of an umbilical port by holding the umbilicus. Alice forceps are even more traumatic. They have toothed tips and are very broad and they provide excellent grip for retraction of tissues and extraction of tissues. They should not be used on delicate tissue. This instrument, the needle holder, may be one of the instruments you're most familiar with. It has a ratcheted instrument with a crisscross tip for excellent grip of the needle. It comes in various sizes to allow you to carry out a range of tasks. Curved medicine bomb scissors are also known as dissecting scissors. They allow the surgeon to perform both blunt and sharp dissection. Their hinge being at the very distal end of the instrument allows for excellent control of the dissecting end. You should avoid using these to cut inorganic material as this will blunt them. Another instrument you should be very familiar with are the straight mayo scissors. These are primarily used for cutting inorganic materials such as suture material, drains and dressings. These should not be used for inside dissection or cutting as they are not delicate enough. Suction is an invaluable tool. It clears the surgeon's visual field, making the operation much easier. There are various forms of device that offer suction. Here we present Wheeler's Sucker, which has a guard which we've taken off. There's also Yanker Sucker. 
Artery clips, as the name suggests, are often used to ligate blood vessels. However, they can also be used for various other purposes, including holding suture material or securing other structures. They come in a variety of sizes, from the small mosquito to the much larger Roberts. As you can see, these are a ratchet instrument, which allows them to maintain a strong grip. The aneurysm needle is a curved instrument with a hole at its tip which allows a threaded suture to be passed around a structure such as an aneurysm or blood vessel to allow it to be ligated. The Langenbeck retractor is probably the most commonly used retractor. It is often used for superficial retraction such as skin or the muscles of the abdominal wall. It comes in various sizes, in small, medium and large, and is defined by its long but narrow blade. The Mars retractor has a similar shape to that of the Langback, however it has a much wider blade. This allows it to retract much larger structures and is commonly used to retract the abdominal wall during open abdominal surgery. The Zerni retractor is a dual ended retractor. It is characterised by having two spikes at one end and a broad surface on the other. It is useful for closing wounds as the spikes allow passage of a suture needle between them. This is of particular use when closing the abdominal wall as it allows a suture to be passed through the apex of the wound. 